you guys are having a happy Friday and that you have a safe holiday weekend. I guess I'm about three weeks in the campaign. I mean, it's almost a month now, I guess. <laughs> Man, time's uh, kind of flying, you know. It's definitely a new experience for me and my family. I got to say, my, my wife has been a real rock star when it comes to this thing, man. She's been more supportive. Uh, not that I could say I ever imagined, but but then I would even thought was necessary, you know, and uh, she's been super, man. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful and I couldn't do this without her, you know, uh, it's awesome. You know, as a unit commander, I often had to give a little safety briefs before we went on like holiday weekends and stuff where people might do a lot of drinking or something dumb. So anyway, let's let me remind you guys to drive safely, boat safely, make sure you're wearing your safety devices and not drinking alcohol while you do it but if you do please have a designated person that is committed to staying sober uh, please be safe especially if you're shooting fireworks don't do too much experimentation don't want any of you guys to become like TikTok videos or youtube videos for doing something dumb i, I don't want you going viral for the wrong reason you know so the uh yeah fourth of july is on sunday an amazing day to celebrate I know the uh, African-American community celebrated Juneteenth, and uh, hopefully someday all Americans will celebrate Juneteenth, but that doesn't necessarily take away from the significance of the 4th of July, right? Which is America's birthday, and when some extreme patriots resolve within themselves to do whatever it took to establish a free and independent nation, and they did it, you know? so. Hey, I'm glad we're here. I often you to America's been referred to as the great democratic experiment. We're about 250 years into it. And here we are. We've had ups and downs and tons of struggles in many different ways. And I mean, I would say we're doing pretty good. I believe we have a long way to go because, you know, I uh, I certainly wouldn't have wanted to be an African-American male in Chattanooga, Tennessee. 60 70 100 150 years ago you know and uh to see now that not only am i talking on a device that didn't even exist and driving a machine that didn't exist but i'm running for an office that wasn't attainable and wasn't accessible to people that look like me you know what an amazing leap forward that is right um and if we win district 29 you know, I ain't going to go into politics and I'm going to get started on that, y'all. I just, I want to wish y'all a wonderful weekend. Uh, we're going to be out canvassing on Saturday. So if you see me out walking, you can honk the horn, say hello, and let's just keep this thing moving, moving forward, you know? All right. Good night, y'all. Bye.